Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for Star Sports continuing coverage of the San Miguel Asian Nine Ball Tour, our final stop here in Jakarta. And the finals from the Grand Malia, Jakarta, Indonesia. Back to the Mutiari Ballroom here in Jakarta. Ricky Yang from Indonesia, hometown boy, going against Efren Reyes from the Philippines. That will be our final. The winner will walk away with $10,000. The loser, $5,000. Go to the final. Yang defeating Chandra. Chao Fong Peng, that was huge. Ricky Yang also defeating the world champion, Wu Chia Ching, and his compatriot, Muhammad Zul Fikri. 11-9, Efren Reyes beating Yang. Roy Apancho, Jung Young Hua, that was a good match, 9-6. And just as you saw here on Star, defeating Wong Wong Xiang. 11-6, so the road to the final for both these guys. Littered with the courses of very fine players. And here is Indonesia's favorite son, Ricky Yang, who's had a storybook tour through this group of players to reach the ultimate, but his first final in 2006. San Miguel Asian 9-ball tour. And Efren Reyes needs no introduction. Fresh off the victory trail in the United States, winning a half a million dollars in the eight ball championships. Won another tournament before that, and here he is back in again in his native Asia. Ricky Yang, in fact, goes to sit down in deference to the master, the magician, as he is called, 34 years old, Ricky Yang. Record of him in the 2006 Batam Open. He is a champion of that, and the Final Cup 2 champion. Nine ball championship runner up in 2005, Efren Ray. So there's just too many things to talk about, but this year, and last year in Asia anyway, Ho Chi Minh leg, he won that. Jakarta leg, won him in King of the Hill in 2005. Also the victor there. But has enjoyed success everywhere in the world. Look at the cue ball right in the middle of the table. And Efren Reyes has had 12 break and run outs in his last two matches. And that's the danger with playing alternate break against Efren Reyes. You know that he's just going to get his, his racks and there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, wow. And that white ball kind of tailed off a bit yeah. in the direction of the eight. So he may he'll just have to avoid it. He's off. He's okay. Spins it over to the left side, and already you can almost smell the first rack going his way. Reyes has just finished the semifinal, so he's more warmed up. He has a better feel for the table, you would think, than Yang. And of course, we've had uh, Reyes Yang finals before in the San Miguel Asian Nine Ball Tour, but. Never Ricky Yang. It's always Yang Jingshun of Chinese Taipei. We went out in the quarterfinals yesterday. Actually, he went out in the group stage because well, he got stage, paired with he? Reyes. Right. Yeah, yeah, Efren Reyes. One of the stranger groups that we've ever yeah. <laughs> encountered. Efren getting that rhythm going. This for the one nothing lead. Yes, sir. <laughs> Leaving off right where he, or starting off just where he left off in the semifinal match against his other opponent. He leads one nothing. As Ricky Yang steps to the table. Yeah, gets the ball down which is the one, and he has a shot at the two. Yeah, this is a nice looking opportunity here for Ricky Yang. A good controlled break. I'm so impressed with the way that the Indonesians have been breaking in this tournament. Whether they break hard or they break soft in general, they get to keep the cue yeah. where it should be.
Well, great looking table for Yang, huh? Yeah, well, you're talking about that six ball. He he can play the the five onto the six as a combination. I don't think that's going to be a problem. So the rest of this table looks okay to me. Yeah, he's, he's looking for position. He wants it to be just right. He certainly doesn't want to louse that up. Because that is really the only place in the rack that uh, could possibly give him any problems. <laughs> Going over it again. In fact, I think he doesn't want to be in a position where he has to hit a combination. See how, oh. Yeah. And Look that's at this. why. Well, he was the, yeah. He was going for it then. He wants it out of the way. I think he wanted to roll the six in there off of the return. Didn't get it. Yeah, it takes the five into the short side. Interesting decision, actually. Interesting decision. Almost I mean, scratched yeah, there. Yeah, I mean, that could have been dangerous. That could have been dangerous. But see what he was trying to do there. Now he's got some... Close queuing, close quarter queuing he's going to have to deal with. No problem. So all that worrying for nothing in the end. But You know, he still doesn't like it. I think he'll be okay. Put a little bit of left hand spin there. You can see it. Go around. All he needs to do is land nicely on the black eight after the seven. Efren, I, I, you know, Efren respects all of his opponents, and he knows that uh, there is a luck factor in this game, pretty big luck factor, and even a, a, a lower-level player on his day can beat Efren. So... Well, he's, you know, Yang's been hot. He, he's, he's the one with the hot hand besides... Uh, Efren throughout this tournament, and I, and I think it's obvious, I and mean, he's made it all the way to the finals, and I think he's looked the best besides Efren. Mm -hmm. So I think the right two guys are in the final. Yeah. Now, Ricky Yang overran this a bit, a couple of inches short, and he'd, he'd be okay. Now he has to take the eight and play the nine into the short side. Oh, he's able to take it back. That's a good shot. That's a good shot right there. Good recovery. <laughs> one one. Ricky Yang does the work that he needs to do. Contemplated uh, about it a little bit more than Efren, but uh, that's understandable. His first final. So Efren will be back up to the table in a minute to try and break the deadlock in this race to 11. Our finals, ladies and gentlemen, 2006 San Miguel Asian Nine Ball Tour. And Jakarta Leg uh, will soon be a memory. And here to this beautiful, beautiful Grand Malia in Jakarta at the uh, Mutiara Ballroom. Uh oh. <laughs> Mm. He could be in for a very short rack number three here. Look at Do you where see the, the one, one go in and out? Yeah. Now, th this is not a gimme, but I think Reyes is going to take it down. It's a oh, bit off angle. You got to. I mean, not a gimme, but, well, it's a gimme. 2 1, Reyes leads. That rack took exactly two shots.
we're back here in Jakarta, Indonesia. It's the final of the final leg of the 2006 San Miguel Asian Nine Ball Tour and Efren Reyes is already in cruise control. 4-1 he leads against the surprise finalist, Ricky Yang of Indonesia. And Ricky Yang has been very methodical, but a mistake in rack number four handed the rack to Reyes. And he's staring at this 1-4 deficit. And where's that white going? It's finding the bottom of the pocket. And that is an unforced error because the white ball was not touched. It went straight down. This is not what he wanted. To see. <laughs> and this could turn into a route if Efren continues his play, and if Yang isn't able to shore up those mistakes. efficiency here. Efren Reyes, a run out off the mistake. 5-1 he leads and he's up to break. Efren Reyes going for his seventh title in this San Miguel Asian nine ball tour. And this Indonesian crowd, they're cheering for their hometown boy but they know that he is really under the cosh against the legend. Big, big crowds here in all three days of this event. I've been treated to some magical moments, many of them supplied by Efren Reyes. Wing ball down, one ball down, four ball also down. Is there a shot on the lowest numbered ball? Yes, there is. It's the blue two. Brilliant control of the cue ball as well. It's a race to 11. And Chuck, it looks like Efren is on his way to winning his fifth straight rack and take a very, very commanding 6-1 lead. Well, commanding just the word for it because, uh, you know, it's a very, very tall order to play Efren to begin with. And then when you fall behind 6-1 in a championship mode, like he has just done, and uh, Filipino flags continue to furl. And, uh, Bob, what do you do if you're Ricky Yang? I mean, it's not as if you've, like, 
made that many terrible errors. So, okay, that scratch was pretty glaring. But uh, besides that, you just you when you're playing everything, you just can't afford any errors at all. Yeah, I guess he just has to be patient. Just play his game, play the table, and wait for Efren to make mistakes. If, in fact, he does make any. Oh, wow, he's really unlucky here that this eight has come between the one and the pocket. This is another. He likes this medium soft break, and he controls the white really well. But look, right around there, he has a shot on the one, but then the eight comes over and blocks his path. Another look at the break. No. Oh my goodness. That was always going to be a wow. tough combination. Well, you just cannot afford these kind of miscues. And out of frustration, I think more than anything,